Hi there, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Renee and this is my channel. Welcome to my curls. And today I am making my favorite summertime snack. We're gonna make homemade fruit salsa with cinnamon sugar tortilla chips. You heard me, that's what I said. Homemade fruit salsa with cinnamon sugar tortilla chips. Your taste buds should be so excited right now. If we're out at the pool or if we have to go to a get together or a picnic or any sort of summer event, you can be sure I'm bringing my fruit salsa. Anybody who's ever been to my house to hang out at the pool has had fruit salsa. It is a staple in our house in the summertime. My daughters and I love it. My husband, he doesn't like fruit. Like, who doesn't like fruit? It's just more for us. Now, I actually got this recipe from a girlfriend I think forever ago, she came over with her daughter, we were having a little swim party, and she brought fruit salsa. And all of the moms here, and all of the kids here, went crazy over the fruit salsa. And I got the recipe from her, and I've been making it ever since. I know the next time that you have a little get together outside, you're gonna be bringing fruit salsa. So stick with me, welcome to my kitchen, and we're gonna make homemade fruit salsa and cinnamon sugar tortilla chips. We have a strawberry patch where I live and strawberries are in season right now. So I have freshly picked local strawberries. You can make as much or as little of this recipe as you want. So I'm gonna just show you how I would make it for me, for my family out at the pool and, this, and the quantity I'm gonna make would last us a day or two. We go through a lot of fruit salsa in our house. Let's get going. Here's how you make homemade fruit salsa. To make the homemade fruit salsa, you need some strawberries. These were picked from our local strawberry patch, and I have about a pound and a half of strawberries here. I have them washed and cleaned. So of course, you need your fresh strawberries. Strawberries are my favorite in this recipe, so these are my star ingredient. You need three or four kiwi fruit. I love kiwi. My sister-in-law, however, is allergic to kiwi, so when she comes over, I always substitute the kiwi with blueberries. So again, this recipe is super versatile. You can switch out the fruits and use whatever you like. Today, I'm actually gonna make it with the kiwi. You need one can of crushed pineapple. I prefer the crushed over chopped or rings. Those are just too chunky for me. I have a hard time eating them. It gets in my teeth. Um, so I prefer the crushed pineapple, and we are going to drain the juice from this can. If you don't drain the juice, you're gonna end up with watery, runny salsa, which you don't want. So one can of crushed pineapple, and one can of peaches. So these are all the ingredients we need to make our salsa, peaches, pineapples, kiwis, or blueberries, and strawberries. To make the cinnamon sugar tortillas, you just need a good stack of flour tortillas. You need granulated sugar, ground cinnamon, real butter. So those are the ingredients that you need to make your homemade fruit salsa and cinnamon sugar tortilla chips. And now we're gonna get to cutting our fruit. We're gonna make the salsa first. So you just need a big bowl, a sharp knife, and all of your fruit. So I have cleaned and dried my strawberries. I don't want wet berries, so make sure that you clean and dry them. And I'm just gonna start chopping. Okay, this is looking pretty good to me. Let me show you that, can you see the consistency of my strawberries? Just little bite size is really what you want. So once you get your strawberries chopped up, plop them in your bowl. going to do kiwi next. You want to get the skin off of your kiwi, so I just like take a little paring knife and cut off both ends, and then I just kind of peel it. 
like that. And inside you have this bright, vibrant green, sweet, yet citrusy fruit. I love kiwis in the summertime. And like I said, if you don't like kiwi, you can certainly use blueberries or blackberries or raspberries. So again, there's the consistency of my kiwi, which is about the same size as my strawberries. So add them to your bowl. So even though my peaches are in fruit juice, I still don't want the liquid because I don't want runny salsa. So I drain the juice out of my peaches. Okay, let's chop peaches. Done with the knife. So for the pineapples, we're simply going to drain the juice. I got crushed pineapple, so it's already chopped for me. Even though I've drained the juice out of this can, and I like to take my hands and actually squeeze out any excess juice, just kind of press your hands together. See how much is coming out of there? It just makes your salsa too, too runny if you use all this juice. So just give it a good pat. It looks like that and plop it in your bowl. This is our salsa. Four ingredients. I've got everything in here. Um, see, look at all of the liquid that's already accumulated from the strawberries. And I'm just gonna get a spoon and give it a stir. Ooh, look how pretty that is. And it is beautiful when you use blueberries too. I have to have a little bite. Mm -hmm, mm, mm. That is so good. Pop a lid on my bowl and I'm gonna put this in the fridge and it's gonna sit in there and chill and get all nice and juicy and all melded together while we're making our cinnamon sugar tortilla chips. So let's make our cinnamon sugar tortilla chips. So while I'm gonna be cutting up my chips and preparing those, I have my oven preheating to 375 degrees. You got your flour tortillas, and I'm just gonna cut them down the middle. And they don't have to be perfect. They're just the size of chips. You can cut them however you would like. Just like that, so neat. Now I have these super cute little chips. So I have a very large baking sheet that I'm gonna cover in foil. And I'm gonna lay my chips out in a single layer. I don't wanna stack them on top of each other. Okay, so here is my pan of tortilla chips. Next step, butter, sugar, and cinnamon. So I'm gonna take my butter in a little microwave safe dish and I'm gonna melt my butter. Just kinda chop it into pats first so it'll melt quicker. I'll pop this in the microwave. So my butter is now completely melted and I'm gonna take a silicone brush and I'm gonna brush my chips with the melted butter. 
Just get them good and coated. Doesn't that look good already? Oh my gosh. And you're not soaking the chips. You're just, just giving them a little layer of butter. Next is the cinnamon. Just sprinkle them however much you would like. I am not a huge cinnamon fan, so for me, that is the perfect quantity. But again, do however much you like. Now the sugar. You're just gonna sprinkle the sugar and you wanna coat the shells. And just know that when you pick these shells up after they're baked, some of the sugar is gonna fall off. So you're really not getting all that's on there, but the butter that coats the tortilla shells helps the sugar stick to the shells. Okay, there we have cinnamon sugar tortilla chips. Now we're gonna bake them. In my oven, it's 375 degrees, and it takes them about seven minutes. You do have to keep an eye on them. Everybody's oven's gonna little, be a little bit different. You don't want them undercooked because then they're gonna be chewy, and you don't want them overcooked because then they're gonna burn. So about the five minute mark, stay close to your oven and keep a close eye on your chips. Ooh, if y'all could smell my house right now. Look at that. Let's get these out of here. My tortilla chips have been sitting for about two minutes. They're good and cool, and I'm gonna transfer them to just a little paper towel. Look, they're hot. Look at that. Perfectly crispy, crunchy, and look how it started to flake apart. Look at this. Okay, let's get these off here. You all could smell my house right now and look at these. Perfectly thin. You can see the layers come out, come out in our tortilla chips. <laughs> they are so good. I'm gonna make another batch. Look how impressive that is. You have your crispy cinnamon sugar chips and your homemade fruit salsa. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to dig into this. Let's go outside. So sadly, I'm the only one home right now. So I guess I'm gonna enjoy, <laughs> I get to enjoy all this by myself. It is so good. I am not kidding when I say that I could sit here and eat this entire platter. Somebody come take it away from me. So thank you all for joining me in my kitchen today as I make my favorite summertime poolside picnic party going snack. Homemade fruit salsa and cinnamon sugar tortilla chips. So until next time, I'll see you later.